All right, everyone, let's call together our final planning meeting for today's annual holiday party. I know December 21st is late in the year, but it's all that worked. Final checks. Amber, how are we for decorations? We're all set. We're going with a general wintry theme, so snowmen and snowflakes and whatnot. Oh, yeah, and everything's going to be blue. Mm, great. And Delilah, refreshments? All the spots on the potluck are filled, and we have a really good variety this year. But I have to warn you that Marie is insisting on bringing her corn casserole again. Guys, I don't know how she didn't see that she was using a rusty can of corn. Let's just hope this year the party goes better and... <sighs> Food poisoning sucks. So, all we have left is the music. Mr. Evans, I know you've been extremely busy with the Innovative Solutions merger, but you did mention that you wanted to do the music. Yes, and the list is prepared. Uh, as you can see from the list in front of you, I haven't missed a thing. Um, Mr. Evans, there is a glaring omission. How can you have a holiday party without last... I disagree. It's perfect. No, but she's right. Like, you're missing last... Do not say the words that are about to come out of your mouth. But they're right. You missed one of the greatest Christmas songs ever written. How can we have a holiday party without Wham? Please, do not say the word. Stop. Okay, the former band of George Michael. And that other guy. What's his name again? Look, trust me when I tell you we can't play that song. We can't mention that song. And if even one of us thinks of that song, there will be dire consequences. Discussion's over, period. That seems like a really extreme reaction, Tony. I mean, Mr. Evans. If you only knew, Sam. If you only knew. Mr. Evans. Tony. It's a good thing you came to see me. This curious combination of symptoms has just popped up out of nowhere every year since 2010. Starting December 1st, we see case after case of people with traumatic auditory encephalopathy, often with catastrophic tonic seizures of the auditory cortex. Cases seem to stop cold on December 24th at midnight, and then we don't see a single case until the following year. This Sounds serious. Am I going to be okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat this. We can mitigate your symptoms, but there is no known medical cure. We need to steer clear of certain patterns of auditory stimulation. We must avoid triggering the auditory cortex. Otherwise, you risk cascade failure of the medulla oblongata, which regulates your heart. If you hear last Christmas even one more time, that could be the end of you. There is no once bitten and twice shy here. So, I am dying. There's no need to curl up like a baby and assume that you're heading for the edge of heaven just yet. What I am saying is choose life. I don't care how much you love the song. You could never listen to it, never speak of it, Honestly, once you leave here, maybe you shouldn't even think of Wham, just to be safe. So no more wake me up before you go-go? None. Wait, no Wham rap? That's a thing? Jesus. Wait, no careless whisper. That's our song. Technically, it's George Michael's song, but uh, it's credited to Wham. I would avoid it. Maybe you could stick to solo George Michael songs. Those should be okay. I think. You think? Hey, I'm just trying to give you a ray of sunshine. I have it queued up on the hip hi-fi, Mr. Evans. I'm sure you just forgot what a great song this is. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart.
You were someone special. I knew it. You are having an affair with Mr. Evans. Are, were, were? Okay, either way, you owe me 20 bucks, Delilah. Why didn't you tell us? We're your best friends. Stop. Oh my God. It's real. I, I thought it was just a family myth. The curse of the Kyriakos. My grandmother used to tell us stories about the old country where my Uncle Andrew was infected. Andrew Ridgely. Oh, yeah, An Andrew Ridgely, that, that's him. That's the other guy from Morgan. Uh, my grandmother told us stories about how my Uncle Andrew lost his heart on a skiing trip in 1984. I just thought it was a figure of speech, uh, that he'd run away. He was never seen again. But it gets worse. Gets worse? How could it possibly get worse? Mr. Evans, my love is dead. His heart is outside of his body and it's following me around. We were here when his heart left his body, which means we are now infected, cursed. If we hear let previous years, no well, even one more time, we could die the same tragic death. Uh, uh, th there is hope. There is a family legend that there is one way that we can counteract the effects. Um, uh, uh, what, what day is it? The 21st. Remember, it's the holiday party. Perfect. Winter solstice. Okay, we just need to come up with the time. Um, uh, what's George Michael's birthday? June 25th, 1963. Okay, okay. What? Y'all know I love George Michael. Uh, that, that's perfect. 2 p.m. Why 2 p.m.? 1400 hours. 14 is George Michael's life path number. His birthday? Oh, okay. I know it sounds crazy, but you're just going to have to trust me on this. Okay, but you also have to understand that this is a tragedy. Mr. Evans was our boss, and he was a really great boss. This impacts us. I mean, obviously, it impacts some of us more than others, but we need a minute. We don't have a minute. Look, it is up to us. Uh, we have to figure out a way to counteract the effects of the curse. Uh, it, it's spread through song, so we need a song that has equal but opposite power. I know what we have to do, but it's going to be incredibly painful. Meet me at 2 p.m. by the water cooler. Uh, we have to do this before the party. Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. No! I can't do this any longer. I swear to God, if I hear another note, my ears will bleed. Paul McCartney almost undid every bit of musical karma that he ever built up with this one fucking song. I, I'm done. Sam, Delilah, I, I am so sorry. You are my best friends in the world, but I can't do this anymore. You ask too much of me. Try my patience. No, it's, it's it. It's all at you. Amber, no, please, please. don't sing for going Saturnalia. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away in this year to save me from tears i'll give it to someone special what you you want me 20 bucks 
But the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. This year. To save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. <laughs>